Hello, eighth graders. Special hello to anyone that I don't personally know. Um, if your teachers are sharing this with you, I'm Mrs. Sepulveda, and we are going to be reading through your reading assignments for today, which is day three, meaning we have been at this work and school and distance learning from home stuff for a whole week. I can guarantee your teachers 100% miss you. Um, today we are also being joined by my dog. She is not helping. She is just taking a nap and being adorable. And you might get to see her in the corner of the screen barking at absolutely nothing if she so chooses. So let's dive in. Day three reading. You guys need to do independent reading. 30 minutes, continue reading a book or a new article of your choice, complete the reading log. I know seventh grade teachers are posting some reading log resources and also some audible resources. Um, so your eighth grade teachers might be posting those as well. Be on the lookout for all the helpful stuff they're gonna be posting to help you guys get this packet done and work on all the other things that you are already working on in their class. Um, and they also want you to review sources one, two, and three and complete the reading questions. I will not be rereading all of sources one, two, and three because that's just going to be way too much of my voice on one video. Um, but you guys can go ahead and go back to day one and day two to hear sources one, two, and three read to you again. Um, but I will go through the reading questions with you. And for day three writing, we are going to review The Absolute Diary of a Part-Time Indian Excerpt by Sherman Al Alexi and complete the writing prompt. I absolutely love that excerpt, um, but again, not going to be reading that. Go back to day two where I did read it out loud, even though it has some bad words in it, but no censorship, all that good stuff. Um, and you guys are also going to be beginning to draft your argumentative essay. I know for sure that Mrs. Hubble posted a wonderful resource um, to help you guys outline that. Um, so I'm assuming that other eighth grade teachers are posting resources to support with writing that as well. Make sure you guys are checking Google Classroom, which I'm sure that you have since you are watching this video. All right, let's dive in. Here's your reading log for day three. All right, these are the reading questions based on sources one, two, and three. Again, you guys should already have like gone back and reread them or re-listened. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and pause this and go back to day one video and day two video. Okay, moving forward. In source number two, the author claims that graffiti is an important form of art. Underline the sentences in the following excerpt from source two, which support this claim. The walls started to talk to them. Banksy created a new picture, video, or trick every day in New York City in October. The art ranged from a stencil of a dog to a boy holding a camera to spray painted messages. Throughout his 31 days in New York, Banksy put pictures of his work on BanksyNY.com with clues as to locations, but nothing precise. That sparked a treasure hunt by fans who hunted the works down, shared locations via social media, then swarmed to see them. Before he left New York, Banksy donated a painting that he had changed Mountains and a river were all that could be seen in the original $50 painting. Then Banksy added a Nazi soldier to the painting, titled it The Banality of the Banality of Evil, and redonated it to a Manhattan charity thrift store calling, called Housing Works. The store sells used items to raise money to fight homelessness and AIDS. The charity put Banksy's altered painting up for sale. It eventually sold for $615,000 with the proceeds going toward the charity. New Yorkers like Sean Lynch admire Banksy and think he is one of the more captivating artists of our generation. 
He described visiting Banksy's work around the city as magical and liked hearing conversations about art that Banksy's work inspired. He said that people of all different walks and cultures were sharing opinions, sharing stories. The walls started to talk to them in a way. Okay, so remember, after we read that, you guys are underlining the sentences that support the claim that graffiti is an important form of art. So if there's a sentence that supports the claim graffiti is an important form of art, underline it. Number two, check the boxes to show the claims that each source supports. So graffiti is a crime, check if source one, source two, source three, source four. I don't think we have a source four. Let's go back and check, unless I'm crazy, which is entirely possible. No, we only have three sources. I'm trying to trick you. So, <laughs> next claim, graffiti is an important art form to express social dissatisfaction. One, two, three. Hmm. It's like this excerpt right here from source two was talking about how graffiti is art. Hmm, imagine that. It's like it was done for you. And the last claim, graffiti artists are not vandals. So that would be one, two, or three. This one I can definitely see um, being in for a couple different sources. So make sure you look at all three sources very closely. Number three, all of the sources provide information about graffiti. Which source would most strongly support students researching community effects of graffiti? Source one, source two, source three, or this mysterious source four? Maybe source four is the, let's go back and check. We can always go back and check, guys. Let's see, is it? Nope, we have three sources. So if you answer source four, you are confused. All right, so we did that. Sorry for all the scrolling. And now you are supposed to draft your argumentative essay. Dun, dun, dun. Remember, this is just a draft. So I'm guessing if we look at tomorrow's assignments, it's gonna say like read through it and edit and revise. And all of you guys have been taking your test taking strategies quiz. So you already know for a multi paragraph essay what you should be doing for all of your paragraphs. I'm not gonna go and say that here, but I can hazard a guess that you probably have resources for that on your Google Classrooms. Again, check the Google Classroom. Your teachers are doing a lot of stuff to help support you with all of these assignments. All right, so after the argumentative essay pages, which you can type, you don't have to handwrite, it goes to math, which is not my area of expertise. So I will sign off and I will see you or you will see me, however that works, tomorrow for day four. Bye eighth graders.